Hi, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. I'm, uh, I'm going to read to you. Uh, I've, uh, I've been doing parables lately. This one is a, a parable. Also, it's in Matthew 13. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this one is in Matthew chapter 13, verse 1, all the way down. Till the 23. Parable of the farmers scattering seed. Later that same day, Jesus left the house and sat beside the light. A large crowd soon gathered around him, so he put into a boat. Then he sat there and thought, as the people stood on the shore, he told many, he told many stories in the form of parables, such as this one. Listen, a farmer went in out in to plant some seeds as he scattered them across his field. Some seeds fell on a footpath, and the bird came and ate them. Other seeds fell on shallow soil with the underlying rock. The seeds sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plants, the plants soon wilted under the hot sun, and since they didn't have two deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still other seeds fell on the fertile soil, and they produced a crop that was 30, 60, and even a hundred times as much as had been planted. A hundred times as much as had planted, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. His disciples came and asked him, Why do you use parables when you can talk to the poor? He replied, You are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but often are not. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given and they will have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even though with, with little understanding, they have will be taken away from them. That is why I use these parables. For they look, but they don't really see. They hear, but they don't really listen or understand. This fulfill, fulfills the prophecy of Isaiah that says, when you hear what you say, when you, when you hear what I say, you will not understand. When you use what I, when you see what I do, you will not comprehend. For the hearts of these people are hardened, and their ears cannot hear, and they have close their eyes so their eyes cannot see and the ears cannot hear and their hearts and cannot understand they cannot turn to me and let me heal them 
But blessed are you, your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. And I tell you, I tell you that the truth, many prophets, But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Tell you the truth, many people, prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, and but they didn't see it. And they long to hear what you hear, but they didn't hear it. Now listen to one of the explanations of the parable about the farmer planting seeds. The seed that fell on, on the wood plant represents those who hear the message about the kingdom and don't understand. And don't understand it. Then the evil one comes and snatches away the seed that was planted in their hearts. Snatches away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they are uh, as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell on the thorns. The message is crowded by worries of this life and the lure of the wealth, so not so no fruit is produced. The seed that fell on good soul represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as the as much as uh had been planted. This one's got a message. Well, this is Catherine Hoffman. I want to know how you're doing. Uh, me, I went this last weekend, not not today. Uh, last weekend, I went with my family and we went to a uh, White Waters, I mean Water World, in uh, Coleman, Alabama, the snow. And then um, today, my brother showed up and he uh, he said we're going to uh, the neighborhood grill. So we went there. And I, I ordered the, the fish fish basket. And um. That's what I like to. Uh, that's what I like to do. Just go out and go shopping. And just look around, and I uh, go to a restaurant and have a light breakfast or lunch or supper. My brother took me there this today for lunch. Please pray for him. His name is Carl Carl Henry Jr. Satan's putting all kinds of sickness on him, and I've been praying for God's healing on him. Well, that's enough. See it for now.